Hi, this is the Frosties. Um, we're travelling through the Nullarbor heading to South Australia, and you see all the signs saying wombats. So we thought we'd try to find a wombat uh, area, and which we have done, as seen by the video, and it's uh, about 70 odd k's um, west of the Nullarbor Roadhouse on the right hand side. And it's fascinating to see these holes. They're absolutely hu huge holes. In fact, some of, them, some of them I could get down myself into a point. Kira could fit down them easily, or a large dog, obviously. Just amazes me that uh, we drive through the Nullarbor a number of times, and uh, we don't bother to get out of the car to have a look. But this time we took our time and uh, made the point to do it, and uh, we're glad we did. It is so fascinating of these wombats that. Uh, live out in the middle of nowhere with no water or doesn't seem to have any water and they dig these huge holes I'll call them warrens but I think they're called um, dens uh, dens and there's a lot of fresh poo around obviously and even a lot of rabbit poo so obviously they must uh, live together as such um, this looks like it's had a cave in on this one but it's a double it goes left and right and um, just roaming around, it all massed together, and of course there's some over further away as well. You can see the dirt and colours. But you know, it's time it, when you travel across the Nullarbor. It's really worth uh, getting out, especially with the kids, and and getting out and investigating these sort of things. All these holes are being used. Even that one's got a stick in it. It's still being used as such. You can see the footprints. And there's one at the very end of this video, which really uh, blew my mind, really. I took the croc off just to give you an idea. Oh, there's a, there's a little cave they play in, a little run-through. I think it's a cave in, but they use it for run-through now. Um, threw the croc down the hole, but it didn't go all the way down, so it's only halfway down the hole. And my foot's around about 250 long, I'm guessing, 200 long. So you can roughly work out how wide that one that is coming up near the end, um, which I think it could be this one. And it's, it's from the top of the whole ground down, it has to be five foot at, or at least that. It's just massive. And I wish I had Tanya with me or Kira, who should have shown you, seen the size of this hole. So the croc's 200, so I assume, and this must be around 1200 or 1500 wide, and the height of the opening has to be 700 high. So it's, it's amazing. And it, it's a wide piece as well, it goes left and right as well. Fantastic. But anyway, while you're out the road through the Nullarbor, we'll see to say it's boring. It's only as boring as you make it when you travel and on any journey you do anyway. Time to get out the car sometimes and roam around and see how what things are out in the bush instead of just driving past and, and say it's boring. We don't find none of this boring at all. So anyway, I'm signing off and I hope you enjoyed our little video of the Wombat Holes through the Nullarbor. Again, get out your car, take the kids, take a bit of time. Yes, flies, so what? But... Again, just enjoy as a family or even as a couple and take note of these fantastic animals the size holes they you know, dig in. I reckon they'd be great miners too. Maybe they can find us gold. I don't know. Anyway, enjoy your day and thanks for watching our video. From the Frosties, we're signing off. Cheers.